what a Django field looks like. So you've probably seen something like this if you've worked in Django before, or maybe even Fast API or Flask when you're defining a model. You do something like your class, it inherits from some uh, you know model or whatever, and then you can say something like name is equal to character field, bio is equal to character field, and you pass in some different parameters, right? And you have a bunch of these different fields and all of these fields really are just descriptor classes. Now, this is what it might look like behind the scenes with those descriptor classes. You can see that for my character field, I'm inheriting from model field, which we'll look at in a second. We have some initialization here, we set some maximum length, and then we define our set method, which is used to actually set this field value. So we first make sure that it's type of a string, we make sure that it's within the maximum length, and then we can do this, right? So we have that common implementation for all of our character fields. Fields. Then if we go here to our model field, we have a little bit of an inheritance pattern. We define our initialization, we define our set name, we define our get and our set, and then we can inherit from that and we can use that here within this class. And then all of the other types of fields that you would have, like an image field, a bio field, whatever they may be, same thing, they would inherit from the model field. And then we could use them as descriptors for our various attributes or properties inside of our class. I know. This is really getting a little bit complex. We're going behind the curtain, behind the scenes, stuff you don't really need to know a ton about, but I think it's very interesting and I wanted to show you a more complex Python feature on this channel.